Good day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and let's play our Final Fantasy 16. We're kicking this episode off with the Grim Reaper, which is again in Northridge. You have to come back to go to go back to get this one to spawn after finishing the side quest under new management too. First travel to Northridge and then we're going to go to Westwatch and the Prince of Death is around here. There it is. These are very tricky. I struggle with these a lot, actually. These are one of my worst type of enemies for me to fight personally. But it's only a level 40, and we're pretty strong. But this one will kill you quickly because it's obviously a notorious mark. Just watch it scythe. Pay attention to half stun if you're using Garuda. So we want all the crit and stun damage we can get on this beast. Guess I got ten show. But with a few potions, you should be fine. Go for the stunt. Let's get the wind up going. Do our usual damage dealing stuff. I think what I've got to do instead of unlocking. Phoenix, I'm going to unlock Ramu. Because Ramu has got the same stun capacity. He's got the same stun capacity, but more damage. So I think I'm going to master that. Yes, I got Tenjo! Okay, this is going well, actually. Thought this would be a lot more rough for me, to be fair. Let's wait till it stops warping. And then we'll attack with Shiva. some risk there to do the stun. Knock it to next week. Boom. Damage on that's incredible. Titan is just a powerhouse, isn't he? Uh oh. Okay. Keep your distance from this. If it does get close, just try and use the advantage of your Berserker Ring. It should do it. There we go. That should be our Dark Steel.
Excellent. I'm getting tired of these things. Yeah, me too, mate. Me too. And I do believe with that last enemy, we should have everything we need to create the uh, Guntarung or Guntamong or whatever it's called. Let's have a look, Blackthorn. Yes, we do. We need this forging. And we've actually got four or calcium. That's pretty cool. So, yes, we need this. It has amazing stun and amazing hit points. Last you a good while. And you will also get a trophy. We need to take down one more important quest, which is the Vivian one. So let's go speak with Vivian first, because these are quests that unlock other quests, you see. Home board quests. Vivian, I read your note, and I'd be happy to help you find the book you're looking for. Thank you, Clive. But tracking it down will not be easy. Are you sure? Please. You have always granted me your wisdom and insight whenever I asked. It's only right that I return the favor. Or at least attempt to. You are too kind. Alas, what I ask of you is rather more trying than delivering the odd lecture. I spoke with Harpocrates to see if he had any inkling as to where another copy might be found, but... <sighs> but perhaps it is best that you hear the details from him. If you say so. Forgive me, Clive, for asking this of you. But this book, it set me on the path to becoming who I am today. Its importance cannot be overstated. Okay, let's go and speak to the old bookmaster, Mr. Old Holmes himself. Ah, Clive, my boy. What a pleasure it is to see you. Hippocrates. there's something I need to ask you. I've been charged with locating a book called From a Distance. Then you seek a rare gem indeed. One whose name I had not thought to hear from your lips. <sighs> You've been talking to Vivian. Right as always. But she didn't seem keen to tell me very much. I take it she didn't like what you had to say. And yet I gather it did naught to dissuade her. Clive. If the young professor has tasked you with obtaining a copy, I fear she asks the impossible. The executors would not allow it. The executors? Coveters of Secrets. A clandestine organization committed to the collection and intenebration of forbidden texts and technologies. One such text being the tome Vivian seeks. Chronicling as it does, the true history of the enslavement of bearers. A tale which could overturn the established order were it ever to become widely known. Or, so rumor has it, I've never actually read the thing, or even set eyes on it for that matter. How is it that I haven't heard of this organization? Why, secrecy is the executor's watchword. They lurk in the shadows, emerging only to seize that which must be seized be it books, inventions, or people, before disappearing again, leaving Mary a trace. Which would explain why Vivian's copy was snatched from her grasp not long after she found it. By the hand of the executors, yes. But what drives them? Self-interest or ideology? Fine question. Sadly, all that is known of the executors can be recounted in a single breath. You may just as soon ask me of their origins, numbers, or the identities of their leaders. Any answer I give would be pure speculation. Then my hunt was doomed from the first. What was Vivian expecting? That I'd pluck it from thin air? Not from thin air, no. From ash. Rumors of the executors are rife among the scholars of Storm but rather less so across the strait. I have a friend. Well, I had a friend in the village of Garnick, a collector of rare tomes upon which subject we would oft correspond. Alas, I have heard naught from him since the skies fell dark. And no doubt he too has turned. But though he did not mention it by name, it is possible 
that a surviving copy of From a Distance yet rests upon one of his many shelves, quietly awaiting discovery. If you were, by some chance, able to save even a single book from the poor man's library, I know his soul would rest easier. Very well. When I next find myself in Walud, I'll be sure to pay Garnica a visit. We're going right now. We're going to find ourselves in Walud right now. I don't know if I've been inside this town yet. Or is this the same town that we was in before when all the people was praying? The entire village looks abandoned. Now, which house would I book where I'm living? His interests were certainly varied. I just... This is it. But if what it says is true, I need to get this back to the hideaway. I'll let you read it at your own leisure. Leaving so soon, stranger. We've been watching you. From a distance, so to speak. Subtle. I know who you are. Then we need not waste time on introductions. Hand me the book. Leave it in our care and return to your life. Your care? Do you mean to burn it or bury it? That is not my decision to make. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Then I'll have to politely refuse. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. Very well. The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand. You'll find yourself in the grave, my friend. Let's see, shall we? Oh no, it's a big nasty monster. They do not know that we're the dominant of Ifrit. No, oh, please don't hurt me. Oh no, I'm so scared. After the monsters we've just been fighting, these guys are a joke. Right, let's get in with a proper punch. We will prime because we're not wasting time. Hey, poet didn't know it. is bad for you, my friend. Knockout punch. They really wanted that book. I mean, most common people would get absolutely levered by that. Impressive. But we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, but your wits are dull. <laughs> Let me answer for you. 
There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single, immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. It is a question of numbers and of belief. If enough people believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. So you're trying to control the truth? We are trying to protect people from themselves, from knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. That is all. You may keep the book for now. The world is small. We shall meet again. Until then. Wait! And he vanishes into thin air just as he arrived. Let's get this back to Vivian. Perhaps she can explain what that was all about. Let's hope so. Vivian. I found it. The book you lost. Make more copies. You... You found it. Thank you, Clive. Even though I asked this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. I feared the executors had seized every copy. I met with one of these... executors. And I convinced him to let me keep it. He told me something. That the truth is just a matter of collective belief. And that if enough people believe a lie, that lie becomes the truth. It does. But it also means that the truth is not immutable. That it can be changed. Provided that those who wish to change it can convince enough people that their perspective is the correct one. As the sad history of the bearers proves. You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. It did. Or its author, rather. She was a heretic, you see. A firebrand and a dissenter. A gallows stood ready for her in every corner of the realm. And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at the prospect of its utterance. I, too, have always felt somehow set apart from the world of men. A stranger to my own species. She taught me that my solitude was not a curse, but a gift. And that, though my journey to the truth might be a lonely one, what I found at my destination would be more than worth the cost. Do you still feel that way? That you're not... one of us? Honestly? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Since coming to the hideaway, I find my thinking somewhat... clouded. Perhaps the result of studying mankind from a rather closer perspective than I had intended. But the more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. In looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe... Belief begets truth. Give the men and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make them believe in you, as I do. I'll try, Vivian. I'll try. Hmm. Makes you wonder what kind of lies and truths have been spun into fabrication in our world, in the real world, right? Oh, we got her Nine Tails Bonnet. Moon's reawakened. Blood Moon. The Wailing Banshee. This is the next one we're going to do. Going to take down this Wailing Banshee. It's in exactly the same place we've just come from in Walud. So let's go and get ourselves over there. Here's a Maluk. Another tough enemy. On. 
Oh, I think I missed. Yeah, I missed. Unfortunate. It'll be a quite tricky fight because she's in the air, like all harpies. There are ways we can deal with her though, and this being one of them. Now she's not too bad. Now we can get a Wishiva. Get her on while she's on the floor. Prime a little bit. Let's get a little bit extra damage. into that one, didn't I? Oh! Oh, oh. this could be bad. Nice stun, boy. That's prime. Get Toggle in on this fight. She got me then. So if you time Shiva's Frostbite just right, you can do like an AoE freeze. I mean, you can just AoE freeze them anyway, but like I said, if you time it just right, Okay, we're Giga Flirt. Smashed. That fight is more tricky than it is hard. It's got more of a trick element to it because it's just like, oh, she's in the air all the time. I mean, you can use... You can use Phoenix to, like, get into her and you can use the Dragon into the floor like we just did. But yeah, that's that one nipped.
We're next going to be taking on Knight of a Splendent Heart. That's the next one. That's in Sambrek as well. Just by the uh, Royal Meadows, I believe. And quickly, we're just going to claim our rewards here. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. All yours. Genji gloves. <laughs> I remember them from Crisis Core. You deserve a rest. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This is the kind of fight I like. He's a Dragoon as well, so this is going to be pretty tough. You're the outlaw! The one who drove his highness to madness! On your knees! What? He hasn't heard. And it doesn't look like he's willing to listen. Ah. Only your death will serve! <laughs> Oh, I thought I got out of the way of that. It's all your fault. We've got to go and stop Prince Steel on that. We killed like one of his strongest people. Yeah. Let's knock some sense into him. Yeah. Oh, that was quick. Why are we getting blamed for the Prion's, Prince Dion's madness when it was like his mother? You're a fine hand. I'll tell you what, here's a familiar spell. Cannot dodge these, me. No plates, sir, knights. Almost got him. Almost got him. If we break his posture again, he'll be done. I can't seem to get my deflects on him. There we go. We'll stop messing around. It's a shame that this guy had to meet his end, really. Definitely done now. Long live. Damn it. Dion would have been glad to have you back at his side. Yeah, he really would have done. He would no joke. He was pretty damn tough. He was pretty damn tough. So we got the Blood Moon to take out. 
this will be our last day class that's available to us and then we have to do some more side quests to unlock some more so this again is in the holy empire of sambrek for this one you'll be heading back over to where you fought the bomb king in the crook just make your way back to them ruins and then you'll find the terminus here that'll do girl these can be quite tricky with their aoe's but it should be a simple enough fight down oh we can let's get this big wind up it's always fun to punch a ball uh oh uh oh I got greedy then. I got so greedy then. There we go. The uh, damage things. Hit him with your best shot. get inside of this it's quite tricky this bit but if you can get inside of it you can do some really good damage and it's finished fight over sweet dreams i'm made of these and with the defeat of that notorious mark we are going to call it a day thank you everyone so much for watching and following along on the adventure we are almost done now we are almost getting all these side quests done and it should be a absolute complete walkthrough then right but if you have liked it support the channel by thumbs it up commenting your thoughts down below sharing it around and why not subscribe it's all free it supports the channel best way to do it and you can also come check out our live stream on Saturdays and Sundays at 7pm. Right, guys, that's all for me for this one. I'll catch you in the next one real soon.